Hi there, I'm Eric and in this uh, video I want to go over the bevel tool, the edit mode bevel tool. And we're also going to contrast that with the bevel modifier in this uh, video, just to see where we should use one over the other, or at least how I think we should view use one over the other. So let's uh, begin to just uh, tap into edit mode here. And we got the bevel tool down here. Right there you saw that I had it selected but um, you select by going here and then you click and you drag and you get uh, something like this and while you are still holding your mouse you can drag it and you can scroll your wheel to increase the number of segments to a ridiculous amount or decrease it to something more sensible and then you release and you got uh, a bevel and down here or through the let's see here F9 on your keyboard you got the bevel uh, menu oh and I accidentally uh, got rid of that so I'm just gonna use that tool again and there we go with the menu there so generally I, you will probably not use many of these features here perhaps vertex only which just bevels the vertices and you can increase the number of segments on those as well uh, the profile might be something that you may or may not want to uh, adjust, making uh, that uh, bevel bolt inwards or more uh, towards the original shape of a square or inwards like that. So you can see that effect there. Um, the other settings here I'm not going to touch uh, for now because, well, I use them so rarely myself, so I don't see a use for them. So I'm just gonna skip them for now. I'm gonna link uh, to the manual or something in the description so that you can find um, more information about those quite easily, but that's gonna be enough for now. So instead of using this, we can also, I'm just gonna control Z here to go back, use the hotkey control B and we can bevel with that as well. So you can bevel like this and we can also uh, if you look at the status bar down here you can see that if I hit control B you can see that we get additional um, entries or things we can do with this for instance we can press V to uh, swap between that uh, vertex beveling or just uh, regular edge beveling we can do other things like I for instance there so that we get an inner meter arc like this Let's see the difference there when we scroll up if I press I and not right so the topology gets a bit different right and there are multiple um, shortcut keys you can use while the tool is active there but personally I don't use them very much so my guess is that you won't either next I want to look at the bevel modifier here uh, it's enabled in or enable I shouldn't say enabled it's available in the it's wrench icon here and under uh, modifiers and then we have bevel and it looks uh, kind of intimidating with all of these settings I'll just go into object mode so we can see like the width here and the segments now it's currently applied to all edges and we can change the profile here put that 0.5 and we can also change the limit method and width method and these um, dictate how the um, where the bevel is gonna go basically so I'm just gonna uh, create an extrusion here. Just hit E and extrude here and here. And yeah, we can just extrude one more time. And if I go into wireframe mode, you will see that each of these edges gets beveled. And we can control how these um, bevels, bevels get distributed across our uh, model here. So if I go to limit method and uh, go with angle, you can see that any angle that is uh, over 30 degrees 
won't or um, <laughs> below 30 degrees won't get this uh, beveling so we bevel across here because this edge here is a sharp 90 degrees so it's above 30 so that will get beveled but these are just uh, flat here so they won't get beveled and in that way we can control uh, where the beveling goes also if you go to weight and set the width method to a width here uh, we can go in and select go to edge select here I will just shift select uh, or control select this edge for instance and then I'll go and hit control E and mark bevel weight now we get uh, like this uh, you can see that it marks and it starts to create a bevel there you can hit one on the numpad or on the number row and hit enter to have that uh, full effect of that marking so now this is only active where we mark these edges so we can mark the other side here i click left click here and control click here to select that entire row and then control e edge bevel weight uh, press one and enter to have that full uh, weight i think we can also press n here and uh, adjust this value here under edge data in, under the item tab here so this way we can create uh, geometry like this without having actual extra geometry that we can uh, model in edit mode and this makes it so much more efficient if we want to create uh, like detailed bevels to remove those those very hard edges when we're modeling uh, and we don't have to deal with all of that extra geometry in edit mode so we just have to deal with these or original uh, vertices here instead of having to go through and select every corner and then even if we do we'll run into problems with angles between uh, uh, different faces when we start to manipulate the object so this way with weight and width or angle for simpler uh, objects or a slightly less control uh, is my preferred method for like detailed beveling and the tool I'll just remove this for now and we can select all with a or alt a to deselect and just uh, remove those mean bevel weights there so if I select uh, hold alt and select this ring around here and then hit control B this is the kind of uh, place where I would use a uh, the bevel tool when I want to add geometry that's not uh, details like around a shape like this but rather adding more geometry uh, in a segment of the the model and then I might go in and use some other extrusions perhaps to create extra detail and from there I might uh, add that to the just control plus to add to selection control E um, bevel weight one enter and then I can go into bevel weight with and have only those parts uh, there beveled increase the seg segments and adjust the width there and I can have some more uh, detail there I can also go in a shade smooth and uh, go into the object data tab here normals and auto smooth that to have some kind of uh, smooth across these bevels here and not where those hard uh, edges are there now we get kind of some artifacts here but that's expected when we have geometry that looks like this okay so that's all i want to cover about the bevel tool remember the modifier for detail bevels and uh, the tool for more uh, adjusting of the larger pieces of the geometry all right uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and I have an article linked in the description with uh, 30 or more uh, other uh, modeling tools that you can check out if you like. So check that out and thanks for watching.